Hi guys, for this part of your simulation, you're gonna go ahead and after you're done watching these directions on your packet on my class website, you're gonna click on the Tides Lab link. When you do that, it'll open up this um, uh, page and notice that uh, on your packet, it'll say Seaside Wharf. Um, you can change the location, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, make sure you choose one and um, to collect your data. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, you're going to collect the data for a new moon. So if you remember from uh, your drawing about the moon faces, a new moon occurs when you have uh, the moon in between the sun and the earth. So I'm going to select that moon. And then you'll see that on the calendar, April 7th will be highlighted in yellow and M stands for new moon. So on your packet, you'll see April 7th, that is our new moon. And you, this is where you're going to record that data. So I'm going to separate this tab. Um, and so all you have to do is click on this hourglass button. When you do that, you'll notice that the tide is going to go down. And you'll see that you'll get a time for the first low tide. You're going to record this time 3.57 a.m. on your packet under time for first low tide. And then for the uh, height, you're going to look at how far did it go. So the water level went down to negative 0.3. So you're going to change the value here to negative 0.3. Click on the hourglass and write that negative 0.3 here. <coughs> Here's your next data point. So my first high tide is at 9.47 a.m. and that value is at 2.0 meters. So you're gonna go ahead and set that on your simulation. And then for the time, 9.47 a.m., two meters. You're gonna click on the hourglass again for your next um, low tide. So this is going to be our second low tide. Water level is dropping down to negative 0 0.3 at 4.50 p.m. So make sure you change that there and record that data here. And lastly, click on the hourglass button one more time for your second high tide. The second high tide is going to occur in my simulation at 10.11 p.m. and the new water level is going to be 2.1. So I'm going to change this to 2.1. And again, don't forget to record that on your packet, time, and the height. You're going to continue doing that. Um, but before you move on to the next phase, you're going to click on check. Congratulations. You have correctly identified the tide measurements for this phase of the moon. And it'll tell you if you uh, were able to identify the correct tides for this moon phase. And then... You're going to click on table. Actually, we'll do this at the end. So let me cross this out. Um, you're going to move on to the next face, the first quarter moon. And remember, our first quarter moon is going to be here. So you're going to click on that. And you're going to repeat this process over. Record the data here. Then you're going to go to your uh, full moon. And then lastly, your third quarter. And you're going to record that information here. After you're done collecting the data, you'll have a multiple choice question there. And then looking at the data, you're going to identify out of your low tides, which one is the lowest of the lowest. And you're going to record that for the new moon, looking at the new moon section, um, between your first low tide and your second low tide, which one was the lowest. And you're going to go ahead and write that here. Same thing for the first full moon and the third quarter, also known as the last quarter. And you're gonna do the same thing for the high tide. So you have a first high tide and a second high tide. Between those two, which one is higher for your new moon? You're gonna record that here, and so on and so forth. Um, and then you're gonna be able to identify your lowest tide and your highest tide. Um, as soon as you're done with this, you're gonna go ahead and plot this data on the simulation, once you're done with it, you're going to click on uh, table and you're going to go ahead and enter the numbers that you wrote down in your packet here. You're going to enter those numbers here. So say for example, I got negative 0 0.3 
and my highest tide was at two meters for the new moon. Um, again, you're gonna look at your data to determine this. I'm just writing in some numbers for now. Zero, negative 0 0.3, 1.1. Again, I'm just making up data. Make sure you look at yours and write accurate numbers. As soon as you enter that, so you're gonna click on graph and it'll create a graph for you for the low tide and the highest tide. Make sure you go ahead and um, recreate this graph in the space provided here. And again, make sure you label your um, low tide and then your high tide graph. As soon as you're done with that, you're gonna move on to two analysis questions about what you just completed, and that'll be it for this section.